All right, guys, happy new year to everybody. I want to believe that you guys had an incredible festive season. I mean, the Christmas, there was so much to talk about. A lot of parties, meeting new people, meeting family, whatever it was, I do believe that you had a great time and you enjoyed yourself. Well, we did as well. COVID is hovering all over the place, but hey, we are still safe. And I want to believe that you are safe as well. Welcome to BTM Africa. My name is NYDJ, coming together with my team and we wish you a happy new year. But guess what? We are bringing you the live launch on BTM Africa. So now you get to enjoy amazing and incredible personalities who are taking their careers at top higher. My guest today is somebody I got to know at an event. Apparently had been introduced to me on radio and now he's become like family. His name is Derek Music. He's attended a number of reality shows in Ghana. We're going to talk about all our challenges and all those competitions, what came out of it and what he is today. He has an amazing song on radio and is doing very, very well. The title of that song is Falanga. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest on BTM Africa Live Lounge is Derek. Ella baby, the way you do nothing for me, yeah. I do a baby, the thing you do never smile in your I go buy you cars with the passport. I go give you one hundred million to cash in your bank. Oh yeah, baby, na ni malanga, yeah, malanga, oh yeah, malanga. Oh yeah, baby, na ni malanga, yeah, malanga, oh yeah, baby, na ni malanga, yeah, malanga, oh yeah, baby, na ni malanga, malanga, oh yeah, baby, na ni malanga, yeah, malanga, oh yeah, baby, na ni malanga, yeah, I'm gonna marry you, baby. We could say me that for. I'm gonna take you up to Miami, pass my own door, baby. I want only one more day, great. We shall not do what some say. My best love affair. When you make us have so many of them, but get me a good one, so my mommy to me. My sweet dear, my baby, yeah. when you want to stay, yeah. oh yeah, baby, I need So this is this actually deserves a round of applause and I don't know 
Uh, I mean, we couldn't have afforded this if we we're supposed to pay for that, but you're having it here <laughs> on the live lounge on BTM Africa. Wow, Derek Music, quite an introduction to who you are. I mean, it means we don't need to talk again. Uh, we still need to talk. <laughs> But we still need to talk. We still need to have a conversation. Yeah, sure, uh. sure. I mean, I think people know you already with this. Um, well, I could go far. You could go far. There's yeah, more to you. Yeah, eh? yeah there's more. Okay, there's more. so guys, you're watching BTM Africa. Now, let's get into the conversation. Right. Derek Music. First and foremost, like, did you learn how to play this by yourself? or? Yeah, yeah. Self-taught. You learned how to play the guitar yourself? Yes. The acoustic and all that? Yeah. What made you learn it? You had a passion for it or what? Well, generally I have passion for music. Like, okay. generally. Mm. Anything about music intrigues me. So, mm. uh, at first I, w I used to play the grand piano. Okay. And that, that was also self-taught. Mm. And I was playing it at, you know, dinners, wedding receptions and all that. But the problem I had was transporting mm. a grand piano. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let me get an instrument that is portable. portable that I can, you know, move around easily with. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, decided to use the, <laughs> the guitar. Wow. But initially, the guitar was like, oh, it's going to be difficult to learn. No, it's not. It's <laughs> good to hear. But at the end of the day, I took that bold step and bought the first guitar. And since then, it's been, it's been a massive year. Amazing. Yeah. That's beautiful. Interesting. So you overcame your fears of thinking, Charlie, playing the keyboard, is, I mean, the, the, the guitar is going to be difficult and eventually you learned how to do it. Now you are here. Yeah. yeah. You talk about you playing one thing and now moving to this. How did this start for you actually? I mean, with the music. Okay, so uh, as I said before, I always had the passion for music. Uh, mm. I always had the talent for it. Uh, according to my mom, um, as a kid, I used to sing a lot, mm. but I, I don't really remember. Yeah. So growing up, I did a lot of different things, tried my hands on a lot of different talents, mm -hmm. you know, artwork, which is drawing, okay. uh, street dancing, acting and all that. But oh, you did all that? Yes. So uh, you are really a creative person? Yes, generally. Mm. So I was like, okay. Um, the first time I sang as a, as a grown-up, I was like, he, as a voice, hey, do. <laughs> but I, I couldn't tell because, you know, when you're singing in the bathroom. Yeah, I mean, you, you've <laughs> got the best voice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So <clears throat> I, um, I decided to, okay, fine. Let me sing in front of a crowd mm. and see their reaction. The crowd could be the best judge. Yeah. So I started rehearsing with the grand piano at church. Mm. And it was cool. People were like, oh, okay, so you could sing. Mm. So I was like, okay, do you like it? And you're like, yeah, keep doing it. I was like, okay. So I kept doing it. So one of my biggest inspiration was my, my brother. Okay. He's, he's in the stage right now. Mm. Um, he he kept giving me the pressure. So when he hears me singing and playing the piano, he'll be like, eh, energy mm. Mm. he doesn't sing, but- But he's able to tell you that he went he, off. Yeah, so he's like, off, Sancha save you. So this guy can make me rehearse the whole day. Wow. <laughs> on one song. So I'm really grateful uh, for that. Mm. Uh, I started from there. So my first gig was, I think was a dinner. My church. Wh which year is this? Uh, 2016. Okay. Yeah. 2016. So I performed. Uh, what song was that? It was. It was Sam Smith. Uh, okay. Can I live by your side? I think. Okay. That was my first song, officially. Mm. Uh, you know, on 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 a gig. Okay. So I performed that song, and I was shy, and I was, <laughs> I was afraid. That I was, <laughs> you I was doing something deliver. stupid. Ah. So I closed my eyes while I was performing, and uh, as I opened my eyes, I could see everyone take out their iPod. You know, everyone to is you. just taking a video. I'm like, I'm a star now. All right, it has, <laughs> it has started. <laughs> that's that's where the whole thing started. Mm, interesting. Okay, yeah. And 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 it's been how many years now? Like professionally. Uh, doing this? Okay, so I would say um, I started getting paid gigs somewhere around 2017. Okay. And like l late 2017, so since 2017 yeah, to Yeah, so now, like four or five yeah. years now. Yeah. But in between, obviously, you know, we are in Ghana, we have this creative space where creativity most often is not really paid for its worth. 
-hmm. you know, and this is what you do, uh, music. You play the acoustic, the guitar. Mm -hmm. you, you have to travel to places to go perform and all that. Mm -hmm. you, it didn't come that easy, did it? No, no, never did. Mm. I never did. Um, most especially learning the instrument and, you know, trying to sync your mind to sing at the same time, mm -hmm. staying in key, making sure you are unique. Because a lot of people are unique when, yeah. when it comes to you know, playing the guitar. So mm. what makes you stand out? Mm. That, that is always the, the problem with, uh, with doing this kind of uh, mm. work. Um, when I went to Vodafone Icons uh, in 2018, I was more like an amateur. Mm. I went for a, uh, an audition and looking at me, my dressing crowd, you could tell, said, this guy's an amateur. <laughs> like, seriously, I, I was... I was really bad at dressing anyway. You just, so going into Vodafone Icons for you was to get an exposure or you wanted to yes, get an to experience? Yes, to get an exposure because I, I didn't know what it entailed. Like mm. all I knew was go on stage, perform, the, the public will vote for you. I, I didn't know that. You but know. Who, who pushed you to get it into it? Your bad friends, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Your bad friends didn't tell you that, um, listen, maybe. you don't know how to dress. <laughs> listen, you are not good at it yet. Maybe. So there's this friend called Amin, mm -hmm. uh, Mohammed Amin. Okay. Uh, he is he's a motivational speaker mm. you know, and a writer. Um, what, so I had a gig with him. Okay. He had a, a, a seminar mm. to speak. Yeah. Under, and he, I was supposed to come and perform at that seminar. Yeah. So passing by Heroes Park, he saw that Vodafone was doing their audition. And he called me and was like, Derek, don't come for the program. Go for the audition. Go for the audition. I'm like, what audition? Go that phone for more your audition. Oh, Heroes Park, mm, uh -huh. mm. I was like, okay. Now this, Derek who hasn't rehearsed for like two, two months because, yeah. you know, when it comes to this career, it gets to a point where it's like you're stuck. You feel, yeah, you feel comfortable and you just stay back. Yeah, so I have not rehearsed for like two months. Mm. And <laughs> out of the way, I've got go for. audition. So I just, I stood up, went to the bathroom, Took a bath. I was even wearing my shoe in, in the in the Uber driver's <laughs> car. <laughs> and and at that time too, I was having a little uh, bit of a difficulty getting my parents on board to support you. Yeah, because you know uh, I don't blame them anyway. Because mm. when you have a smart kid and he comes out by telling you, I want to do, do music, music, and it sounds weird. Because mm. they, they know you could do a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> why music? music? So they were like, okay, fine, you, you can go, but yeah, I didn't the support the yeah, horse. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's like, okay, fine. So I, I went for the, the audition. audition. We could draw a pressure fan because, hey, Charlie, I'm a four year rehearsal, so. Now, the angelic voice is a year rehearsal, so. Charlie, we have to crash me. We crash me. We have to crash me. And my dressing, I'm a dead horse. See, the dreads, the. African wear design. Yeah, people are people who are really coming prepared. If I tell you what I was wearing, you would laugh. Even when I was taking the forms and to fill out, uh -huh. uh, the lady that was giving me the balls looked at me up and I was like, she the way she gave me the forms was like, eh, now what we call it on the ending. <laughs> you looked so unprepared. Unprepared. Mm. So I just I took the forms, I filled it out. As I was writing the song I want I wanted to sing, mm -hmm. another guy was singing that. <laughs> Okay. Wow. And the guy also did well with the song that he was picked. <laughs> wow. So imagine, that pressure was way too much. Mm. So simply, I used what I was good at. I, I increased the, the song that I was going to sing on a higher octave. Okay. So I sang the song and I was, as I was singing, before I ended, the Apiotus was like, ah. oh, are you one of the tech guys? I was like, no, I represent Bantima. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I was like, yeah. So he called the music director, mm. my my sheet full front, and he wrote my name on another sheet. Thank you very much. Eja, yet dinawa ye trans ye bef or my more call live show ye bef boom din. Ya boy nipa or toss of food dinner, Messi and a chale I mean coffee in a young family nipper dos or ha nipper dos or a talent in a tenet dos. As I took two steps backwards, I appear to was like, ah, she to now mature a dimbi goose in our hand. So he called for the sheet, mm. and he was like, "Why not find a Derek, you know?" And I just raised my hand as if me as a crazy. Because we, yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> because you were surprised, you were not I'm looking forward to that. So I appeared to just shook my hand. I was like, 
uh, well done. Good luck on your on your journey. You are wow. going to the live show. I was like, <laughs> so as I was going home, my parents were calling me like, ah, okay, I said, no yeah. watch it. And then, like, oh, maybe, maybe I'm talking Because you are bringing bad. good news. I don't know. You see now. We drew here now. Dining table, so contract, no pa. Your family would have phone I call. Come and see my mother. Hey, maybe I'm going to TV so. My dad was like, yeah, I'm proud of you. Yeah, you know, yeah very much there, you know. <laughs> yeah. Why are they? Why are they? Oh, my name is there with me. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother could. My, my brother was just shouting all yeah, the way. because I mean, he had been pushing yeah. me all this while. So it was, it was, it was like a great experience. But like at once now, I'm a live show. So yeah. Right? See, all of a sudden, life changed. Mm. Your your dressing has to change. Yeah. The way you speak has to change. The way you walk. The way you see yourself yeah, as you are working, everything, has to, everything has, has to change. Everything about you has to change. So, yeah, it got to the point like we went to the house, you know, the fun, mm, the hairs mm, mm. you know, meeting the, yeah, the I next know. Time. I know, right? <laughs> and all that. So, essentially, um, doing this kind of job is absolutely difficult. Absolutely difficult. Mm. But, and one other thing is the, the gigs. When, when people are, are calling you for gigs, mm -hmm. I don't know if they realize, I don't know if someone told them they can actually do this job on their own. When they are pricing with you, they price as if, sometimes they price as if, say, oh, we cry, me cry, me cry, me cry, me cry. I say, oh, we cry, just a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. But when they see your CV, mm. Mm. and they see the places you've been, and yeah. The kind of stages you've been on, and you know the things you can do, what yeah. you can offer. Mm. You watch your videos, and okay, I've already ended and go home. I, I, I remember there was a gig I played recently. Me bought a quarter prize on, and I was handy became home. Oh, I was shocked. Yeah. Eh. So it, it happens that way. A bit this one, a bit so they become. A bit they become home. So interesting. I was I was shocked. I was like, okay. He was like, oh, me person, oh, born and me feel. And I'm say, okay, no problem. So the penny be a mayor. So the beer account, so obviously you'll be excited. Now let's move beyond that. I mean, you went to Vodafone Icons. Again, you went to MTN Hitmaker as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I you had gone for Vodafone. Why did you want to go for? I, I wanted more, more exposure. Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted more. And yeah, how did that more. end? Ah, Vodafone Icons, MTN. Hitmaker was, I think, the hardest when mm. it comes to the lifestyle. Yeah. It Mika has the the strongest pressure I'd say when it comes to the lifestyle. You 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 have to be smart. That's all I would say. Mm -hmm. As you, you, you need to let your performance speak for you. Yes, appearance is very necessary because of branding, you know. Yeah. You'll be teaching about branding and everything. Mm -hmm. So but don't let it get too much into your head because if you let it get too much into your head, you will start doing things Mm -hmm. that probably you didn't want to do, but you're doing it. <coughs> so it's very, 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 very necessary for you to have that in mind. Mm. It's make an end easy at all. The auditions, the I would say the audition is uh, too stressful. I, I went to the auditions around 6 a.m. I did my audition at 10.30 wow. p.m. So let's start the journey. I mean, you've had... Vodafone icons, you've come through to MTN Headmaker. Beyond that now, you are, you are an artist, a full-blown artist. You have yeah. a number of singles on radio. Yeah. We started this whole conversation with Palanga. The first time I heard it, I thought it was, it was for a Nigerian artist. Yeah. But then I was later told by Dr. Jima that no, it was a Ghanaian. I'm like, oh, okay. So that's how I got introduced to you, like I said. Yeah. Now, acting or working as, as, as a lead artist, as an artist on your own now, how does it feel, especially when you don't you don't really need maybe a band or anything to work you have to go by yourself and all that how does it how does it feel well it feels good and weird at the same time <clears throat> you see um playing solo you can actually do what you feel like doing um you when when you're singing a cover song or your own song you mm -hmm. can actually switch the yeah. the feel mm. For the person to feel like, oh, okay, this guy can actually, you know, switch anyhow and all yeah. that. Um, that's something I like doing. Uh, with a band, you have the full noise in your ear. 
So it's like you have the full feel of the original voice going through you. So as you're singing it, you feel that vibe mm. of the original song yeah. being played to you. Except if you have a band that understands your style. Yeah. So they fuse in your style a little. Okay. For example, my band called G8 Band. We normally play at Starbites and... Okay. Uh, I think we'll, be, we'll also be playing this Sunday at Rich Condos, I think. Yeah. Um, what happens he, uh, here is, because I've played with them uh, for a very long time, for example, the song like Palanga, when, they're, when they are playing Palanga, they've, they've fused a different vibe with it. Mm -hmm. So well, we, we start with the normal, you know, the Palanga normal yeah. feel. Then all of a sudden we switch to a high life, speedy mm. feel. Mm. Then all mm. of a sudden we, sp we switch to the Nigerian high life, speedy feel that we modulate. Yeah. See what we've done with one song. One so song. With a band, you can also have that kind of vibe also going on. Mm. Right? So I have the opportunity to have these two experiences. Yeah. You know, yeah. playing the solo mm. gigs and playing the live band gigs as well. Mm. Yeah, it's given me a lot of experience and exposure. So people see me like, oh, okay. He can do the guitar too. Yeah. And he can do the live band. Mm. And he can actually sit behind a, a piano, the and, piano also and play, as play well. at the same time. And both all times sing at the same time. Yeah. So it gives me that, you know, the, the edge. Yeah. A lot over, of people. Over other because yeah. you are able to multitask, kind yeah. of do And I can do, things. you know, um, multiple genres. Mm. When it comes to even live band and uh, the okay, the so guitar. you're not restricted to maybe no, R and B no, no. or high life or Afro beats, but no. you're able to do most other things yeah. that you do. Awesome, guys. So you're watching BTM Africa. Like I said, my guest is Derek Music. He's Ghanaian. Uh, so for those of you who are trying to sweep him under the carpet and say, "Hey, let's take him to Nigeria," he is Ghanaian and is proud of that. His parents are proud of that as well. How are your parents now? How do they feel about you doing music? Oh, trust me. Last night, cried, they called to check up. How is the music? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, just like my dad. My dad, who didn't ever want me to do radio. And at times, I'm on radio and he calls me in the nail. I said, No, come in, hey, open fans, oh boy. You know, but it does happen. But it's, it's, it's great. Now, you have Palanga and another single out yeah. there, yeah. and they are doing very well on yeah. radio already. How do people reach out? I mean, how do people get to check the music? And maybe they need you for a show. I hope. Um, the price wouldn't be off the roof so that, they can, no. <laughs> so that they can pay and all that. But how do they reach out to you? How do they get the, the music? Okay, so um, the music, the song, the songs actually, uh, they are all on the, you know, the streaming, streaming platforms. platforms. Mm. Uh, Boomplay, um, uh, Spotify. Apple Music. Apple, Apple Music, yeah. everywhere. Mm. You know, Audio Mac, everywhere. Mm. So you can find it. Just type direct music. Or you can type the, the title of the song, then Derek Music will appear with the song. Okay. Uh, Palanga and um, Steal Your Heart. Yeah. All right. uh, Steal Your Heart in a day. Another time. <laughs> so you can find these songs on all these streaming platforms. Mm. Uh, YouTube, you go on YouTube, uh, the vi some of the videos are there. Okay. Uh, you have Derek Music, the D is capital on YouTube, okay. the D is capital. Uh, for the rest, you can type Derek. The Derek, how do you spell it? Because I know there are different spellings yeah, and all that. Yeah, different spellings. So mine is a British Derek, D-E-R-R-I-C-K. Okay. And then you add the music, the, the music. normal music. Mm. Yeah. And mm. you can find it there. Okay. Um, is with, there like social media people yeah, want to reach out? Yeah, Derek music on social media as well. Like okay. everywhere, Derek music. Opa, mm. <laughs> Google, Nabogu. Derek, Derek music. I'm a profile, cross account. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So guys, I'm pretty sure uh, you've loved the conversation. His name is Derek and he goes by the name Derek Music. Like you said, when it comes to the showbiz side, you can check him out on all the social media platforms and then it'll pop up. Yeah, 
It don't take for me to my hands since 1960. It don't take for me to say since 1930. No, no, no. It don't take for me to say. He de do kala to kala, kala, kala to kala to kala. He de do job on the skala to skala, skala, kala, kala to skala. He de do kala, 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 kala. Let me watch. He de do skala to skala, kala to skala, kala to skala. I wanna talk about the things. I wanna talk about the things where I dey feel it. I know they say what I know me. Do you but tell me say I like who he be real? You got me confused. I'm in the mood. Kilo jaga wadi wa me a kwa view. You got me confused. I'm in the mood. Kilo jaga wadi wa me a kwa view. We, I'm a me a ya. You must have been a mazeta. You've been a jaga when you don't make me a ma. I dey boy a hot when you open your door. A kwa me a ya. You must have been a mazeta. You've been a jaga when you don't make me a ma. I dey boy a hot when you open your door. I got a girl in London. He wanna roll my smoke on me. I want to keep red light on me. And he say, and I guess I quite do. She make my heart beat that I say, boom boom. Next time you're gonna take you to boom boom. We don't even go on a boom boom. Up on the wagon, baby say, Zaji, take a picture. Take a bus, make a Z, take a picture. Zaji, take a picture. Take a bus, make a Z, take a picture. Zaji, take a picture. Take a bus, make a Z, take a picture. Zaji, take a picture. Take a bus, make a Z, take a picture. I be want make a come to you tonight. Say you don't wanna come, baby, yeah, yeah. I picture the things I will do to you tonight. You for turn around for me, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, you're a bad joke. No mood to run with you. I need you, say you want me, oh no, then you feel nice, yo. Baby, you're a bad joke. No more to go, Muncho. And if you say you want me, you know that you can't go last year. Catojo, Totori, Catojo, Totori, Catojo, Totori, Catojo. Happy Gap, 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 You wanna leave? Esteric music, you know what I say? <laughs>